Hi, Marco here. Let's talk a bit about artifact rules because they're actually quite simple, but they can be rather tricky at the same time. Now, when I look at my last build and hover over the artifacts icon, I can see I have two artifacts, my application log file and my selenium recording.mp4 with no folder structure. And when I edit the configuration, uh, scroll down a bit and have a look at the artifact paths, I can see those two files seem to come from a directory, calculator service, subdirectory artifacts, and then just a wildcard for every file inside that artifacts directory. When I look under that input box, I can also see there seems to be a different syntax, like plus, colon, uh, with an arrow, these seem to be optional. So what actually does this line correspond to? Let me show you. When you write it a line like this, what actually Team City sees is please Team City include everything inside the calculated directory, artifacts, wildcard, so that stays the same, and then put it into an artifacts folder that every build has, which might be stored on S3, Amazon S3, and whatnot. But essentially, what you see on a Team City server is just a folder without no subfolders inside. These lines are equivalent. Now let's change things up a little bit. And instead of saying, well, just include everything from the artifact subfolder, move it to another directory, just like so. And in fact, not only that, but copy every file, but then do not copy or just exclude every log file but also put it into another directory. And not put it into another directory, but essentially what you're saying is these rules, the additive, they're on top of each other. So that means include every file and move it into the another directory. And the line below says, well, include every file, but exclude log files and put it into another directory. And now to finish off, <laughs> let's have one more complex rule inside. So calculator service, wildcard wildcard which means every subdirectory so either no subdirectory or any subdirectory whatever the name is and then take just the application log my spelling today is awful and put it into a hello world folder and then let me just put something here which doesn't well quite make sense but for now, just assume that I want to really name the file application log and I want to rename it to whatever log, right? Let's see if that actually works, what this last line is actually going to do. I'm going to save the, the configuration, run a build, go back to the overview page, and then just wait for the build to finish. All right, now the build has finished. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to quickly open up the configuration again, scroll down here, and we're just going to through it line by line. That line again takes every file, those two files, and puts it into, or should put it into the root artifacts folder, right? So when I hover over it here, what you can see, that is exactly what happened. So here's my artifacts, and I have my two files, just like planned. Now, these two lines here mean that, again, copy everything, exclude the log files, and move them into another, another directory. Looking at my artifacts, I can see there's now another directory in here, and there's only the mp4 file inside, exactly what we wanted. The last line says, calculator service, every subdirectory, take the application log and put it into a hello world folder and rename it to whatever log. Let's see if that worked. Hello world, that looks fine. But now we have a subfolder called whatever log and we also have a subfolder artifact and inside there's the application log. So what's the takeaway? First of all, you cannot rename files with those rules, with those artifact rules. You will create directories. So when you say hello world, whatever log, in fact, you're creating two directories, hello world slash whatever dot log. And then as you have that wildcard in here, that wildcard will match the artifacts folder, application log, 
And because of the wildcard, it will just also create the artifacts folder where the application log is inside. So you'll end up with the three folders, hello world, whatever log, slash artifact, slash application dot log. Exactly what you basically get. And this might be a bit hard to wrap your head around, but please play with these artifact rules yourself and you'll get the hang of it. Other than that, that's about it. Bye.